Hey guys, today I wanted to do a little bit of a different video and a little bit of a different setting but I just saw the furry friend tag and I think it's so cute. I mean I obviously saw a few versions of it before but then I always forget about that. And so today I wanted to do it and this is my cat. You see that she really likes to be on camera and she also really likes to be picked up and everything. So I you know, chose this little angle, so you at least can see the back of her hat. So the first question is, what's your pet's name? And her name is Tony. I didn't name her. Um, I uh, got her from such a pet rescue center thing, and so she already had her name. I'm not the biggest fan of it, I have to admit, so I usually don't call her that. And yeah. But this is her name, you know? You can at least look at that. You know? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Next question is what kind of pet is it and which breed? So, uh, as you may be able to tell, I don't know, but she's a cat. She's supposed to be a cat. Sometimes she acts like a dog, so I'm not that sure, but she looks like a cat. Um, I don't think she's any special breed. Um, as I said, I rescued her, so I don't know much about her. Um, she was actually, I think, eight years old. Eight, no, nine, nine or ten years old when I got her. <clears throat> so she, yeah, I think she's she's just a cat, you know. Okay, the third question is how long? Um, what? How long did have you had your pet friend? So, as I said, I got her when she was about 9 or 10 years old. I think that makes it 4 years now. A little bit more than 4, no, 3? Three? 3. A little bit more than 3 years, I would say. I got her in January and I think it was 2010. So that's 4 years. 3 years. Oh, who cares? So the next question is how did you get your pet? So obviously I got her from this rescue center. By that time I lived together with my friend which you may have seen in very old videos of mine and she always wanted to get a cat because we're both grown up with um, cats in our lives so she always wanted to get another cat and I was like no you know we're going to get her and then she's sick and we can't pay, pay the bills and everything and I was really worried but then one day I just decided you know I need that cat it actually took me about three months to come to that conclusion, though it wasn't that long. And so I went ahead and went to that rescue shelter and when I saw her she was in that kind of cage with all these other cats and she was the most frightened one. She was just sitting there and she didn't move or anything. You could totally tell that she was freaking out inside. She didn't move at all. So I just looked at her and she had those really big, huge green eyes and I instantly fell in love with her and I was like, that is going to be my cat. But we were not able to pick her up and on that day because um, it was right before Christmas and they were like, you know, we're not giving out pets um, right now so we had to come back after Christmas and get her and I was really afraid that maybe someone else would have picked her but actually she was just so shy and in shock that people ignored her basically and she was still there when we got her so yeah that was lucky because she really is my cat like we're a perfect match I would say next question is how old is your pet so as I said she's now 13 years old um, a little bit more than 13 years so she is a very old lady and I really wanted to have an old cat I didn't want to get a very young cat like a baby or something because they are a lot of trouble and I actually do not have the time for like a troublesome cat and she is alone pretty often I would, I would say I mean still I don't work like eight hours a day so it's still fine 
but she's still alone quite a lot when I'm out working or at uni or stuff. And so I really needed a cat that wouldn't destroy all the furniture while I was gone. So that's really the perfect cat for me. You can see all she does is sleep. Okay, the next question is, what are some quirky things about your pet's personality? Well, she doesn't show much of her personality right now, but she can be quite a bitch. So, I don't know. Usually she gets food twice a day, um, at 10 in the morning and um, approximately 6 or 7 in the evening. But I usually stand up much earlier and so the time from when I stood up to 10 a.m. is the worst time of the day because she will just sit in front of the door to my kitchen and just be the loudest little cat that I have ever heard. So that can be super super annoying. But you know, other than that, she's just crazy enough to be my cat. Um, she really is a little bit crazy and I guess that is what you get when you have an old cat from such a rescue center. Um, not that she's been there too long but you never know what they lived through before that. So um, yeah, she, she is kind of mad but I feel that during the years uh, she lived with me she has gained a lot of trust and maybe confidence so she's not so afraid of people anymore and yeah she's just cute and awesome and I love her so it's a little quirky quirky cat and she likes cake that's something I have never seen in a cat she's totally obsessed with cake also she is sick so um, I think she is allergic to um, Oh gosh, carbs? Yeah, carbs. So I have to feed her special food that has no carbs in it so she feels better and stuff. But she is obsessed with cake. And usually in cake there's a lot of carbs if you don't know. So that's kind of weird. But she never had problems eating cake. Because I only give her like the smallest little pieces of it. And she loves cucumber. Yesterday she ate half of the cucumber that my boyfriend bought himself, so yeah, with her food that's really interesting story. Okay, the next question is kind of random. What does the relationship with my cat mean to me? Well, obviously, if I sit here and do a video about her, I have to love her, don't I? I don't think that anybody who doesn't care for his pet would do a video about it, but other than that, I really, really, really love my cat. I'm obsessed with her and I don't know, when I was still, still had the relationship with my ex-boyfriend, he was um, diagnosed, isn't that a word? Well, they told him he was allergic to cats. And he didn't have any problems till that point, but then he was like, oh no, I'm allergic, she has to go. And you know, he never had any problems with her, so I was like, no. And I actually said to him, you know, the cat is not going anywhere. If you really want to get rid of that cat, you better go out that door. And I think he understood that because we never talked about getting rid of the cat again. And this is really, truly how much I love my cat. I like her or I love her more than any human in my life because you know, humans can always betray you, they can always let you down, but this cat, she can't do that. The only thing she could do is die and that would be the worst situation ever. Not going to think about that. Next question, what are some of the favorite past times with your cat? Um, I don't know. I mean, we're both kind of boring. We don't we don't experience a lot of stuff. I think the most important um, she always had when times were rough, so they're not like good times that I like to remember. But obviously I am very thankful that I have her because I had a few tough times the last year or so and I'm really really lucky that I had her and that you know this isn't so so cheesy but 
sometimes she really was the only reason that kept me living because I was like, you know, who is going to care for that little cat when you're gone? That, that, you know, cut that out. Just ignore that. I am stupid like that. Okay, the last question is what are the nicknames you call your cat? Well, as I said, I hate her name, so I usually don't call her her actual name. So what I mostly call her is Kitty or Antonia, which is the longer version of her name, like Tony. Um, so when she did something really wrong, I called her Antonia Riemann, which is her full name <laughs> that we imagined when we were still living together, my friend and I. Um, what else? I call her Pushel a lot, which just means like furry. Um, or just push, something like that. So just something referring to a little cute furry animal. You could at least look at that. Look at that. Oh look, look, oh, oh, isn't she cute? She just wanted to be in the camera. Right, 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 right. I'm disturbing her sleep right now, just for you. How long have you been sleeping? Like seven hours or so? And by the way, you may not see this, but this is the royal pillow of the cat. She once decided that this is her pillow and it has been ever since. And she's mostly lying on that pillow. Wherever I put it, she's right on there. So I would say that's all I have to tell you about this little creature. If you ever think about getting a cat and you never had a cat before, maybe really think about getting an old one first. Like, a cat that is, you know, like this, just sleeping and you can't really do too much wrong with it. Because I know so many people that were like, oh, I have my own flat now, I need a cat. And they all got those small cats, like a few weeks old. They all destroyed the furniture, they destroyed the doors because they were alone too much. Um, they didn't learn to go to the litter box and everything like that. So. Definitely think about getting an old cat if you're not having a lot of time or if your cat can't go outside like she's not going outside She's just living in my apartment because we have streets everywhere and it would be too dangerous to have a pet that goes outside here I think so um, if you live in the same situation you don't have the chance to let your pet out um, Think about getting an older one because the younger ones will have trouble getting used to that I would say and often those people that I just mentioned, they forget about their pets, you know, they're convenient for about a year or so and then they're too big to be super cute, they destroy too much to be loved and then they just forget about them and don't even try to do somewhat to educate them, is that what you to train them so they don't destroy everything and stuff. So yeah, that's just a story that I've heard a million of times. So that's just a suggestion if you think about getting a cat. I think getting a dog is even worse because you really have to drain those. A cat is a little bit less work. But yeah, that's all I wanted to tell you. I hope this video isn't hours long, but obviously I could talk about cats for days and days and days and I don't want to do that now. Um, I really have to go to work as well, so I will talk to you very soon. Bye.